Stefan. Hello. Um, so why don't you tell everybody you're listening a little bit about you and your kind of the acting career that brought you to Trinity? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I graduated from drama school what, like seven years ago now. Seven? Yeah, seven years you're ago. You're asking me. Yeah, yeah. yeah seven. <laughs> seven years yeah. ago. Uh, and I've been lucky enough to do an array of different things. Um, most recently, I've done a lot of children's theatre, um, a lot of tours, um, specifically for kids shows. Um, so that's really, really set me up nicely for being able to do two amazing shows that are perfect for the ages that I've just been Brilliant. doing shows about. Yeah. So your, your niche is kids shows. It's kind of where you've fallen. Yeah, yeah, where I've fallen naturally as well. And um, I think it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun to do and it's fun to be really energetic and you get something different with a kids show, really. Um, and I, I just feel like, for me, I remember going to watch a show as a kid and being inspired by what I saw on stage. And I think that's kind of what I want to give back as well to the kids. It's quite nice. Brilliant. So talk me through what you're doing as part of the Trinity experience. Uh, so I'm playing, I'm playing Splat in Aliens You Saved Christmas. Um, and then I'm playing King James in The New Musketeers. Fantastic. And uh, um, again, I, this is sort of more about you, but just briefly uh, define Splat. Uh, so Splat is bonkers. Um, he is energetic, off the walls, um, and he just has an impulse to everything now and everything his way, and just go, go, go. Cool. Yeah, that is we splat. All, we all know. We all have a splat. In Everyone our lives. has a splat in their lives. They if do. they don't, it's you. you. You need to find one yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so your highlight of the the Trinity experience so far? Yeah. Uh, probably has to be working alongside amazing actors. I think it's. It's really, really nice to be able to be in a room where you can play and you can bounce off each other's ideas. And uh, Sean, the director, has this amazing way of working where everyone has an input on whatever scene it is. And I think it's a really refreshing thing to see. Um, and it's really nice that everyone can have their own piece. So it becomes our piece, not just theirs. And that's what's amazing about it for me. Fantastic. Um, your most embarrassing stage moment to date gosh i don't think i have one i'm a professional of course um no i do um <laughs> <laughs> uh when i was i was in billionaire boy it's actually not that embarrassing the kind of it when i was in billionaire boy um last year uh, i played raj the shopkeeper who uh, had a lot of um a lot of deals a lot of offers and stuff like that and uh i came out once and i offered i offered Joe Spud, um, I think it was 12 chocolate bars for the price of one when it's supposed to be the other way around, uh, um, which then proceeded to us both laughing on stage um, and not being able to continue the scene. Brilliant. Which is exactly what you want. And yeah. um, with the audience with you on that, Absolutely. Concert, right? they the always whole are. whole way through. Um, it was quite a small theatre and it was, <laughs> we were just laughing and the audience saw it, they started laughing. That's what you want, really, isn't it? Exactly what you want. Yeah. Brilliant. So if you were to sum up the Aliens Who Love Christmas in one sentence, Sir what would it be? Fun. Yeah. It's just fun. And it's great for everyone. It's, yeah, fun. Cool. It's what you want at Christmas time. Absolutely. A little yeah. bit of Christmas Eve magic, a little bit of fun. It's what you want. Brilliant. Listen, we will, I'm sure, be catching up with you as part of this journey. We're early doors at the moment. It's all, everything's already looking amazing. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing and finding out what's going to happen again soon. Thanks, Thank everyone.